Today we will learn how to plot sensor reading to web server in real time chart using Node MCU ESP8266. We will use an HCSR of Ho ultrasonic sensor to read the distance in centimeter on a web server. The ESP8266 will host a web page with a real time chart that have a new readings added every 3 seconds. So we don't have to refresh the page to get the new readings. To run this project, we will build an asynchronous web server. We will be using the ESP async web server library. We will also design the web page using HTML. The HTML file is stored on the ESP8266 file system. We will display the distance in centimeter from SCSR of ultrasonic sensor on a chart. You can modify this project to display the sensor reading from any other sensor like temperature, humidity and pressure. Simply to build the chart, we will use high charts library. We will create a single chart called distance. Actually, the chart displays a maximum of 40 data points at a time. and every second a new reading is added but you can modify this value according to your project requirements before getting started with this project here are some requirements that you need to know before getting to compile the code so first of all we will program the esp8266 board using arduino ide so you will need to install the esp8266 add-on to compile the code in arduino ide the second is the file system uploader plugin. We need to upload the uh, HTML file to the node MCU flash memory. So you will need a plugin for Arduino IDE called flash file system uploader. You can follow the tutorial given in the link in the description below to install these two add-ons for Arduino IDE. The third thing is installing the libraries we are going to run a async web server on a node mcu so you will need to install the esp async web server library and esp async tcb libraries these libraries are not available on arduino library manager so you need to download a copy of the library files to the arduino installation folder similarly to get the reading from ultrasonic scsr of sensor we need the next library called ultrasonic library this library is available on the arduino library manager simply you can install it from there now here are the few components required to start this project first of all you will need esp8266 development board ultrasonic sensor scsr of breed board and few jumper wires the scsr of ultrasonic sensor modules provides the measurement of the time and it takes for a sound to bounce off an object and return back it to the sensor to calculate the distance a schematic diagram of ultrasonic scsr ohos wiring with esp8266 development board bcc pin is connected to b in pin of node mcu similarly trick pin is connected to d1 gpio pin number 5 of node mcu eco pin is connected to d2 gpio 4 pin and gnd pin is connected to gnd pin of ESP8266. Finally, to build the web server, we need two different files. One is the Arduino sketch and the other is a HTML file. So the file should be saved inside the folder called data. It resides inside the Arduino sketch folder as shown in the video. You can simply download all the project files from link provided in the description below. The zip file contains ESP8266 web server real time chart folder. Inside the uh, folder, you can find ESP8266 web server real time chart.ino file and one more data folder in which index.html is included. The index.html file will contain a web page that will be displayed by the server along with the JavaScript that will process the information of graphics while all the server programs and sensor readings are in the ESP8266 web server 
real time chart dot ion file now let's see the programming codes in the index dot html file you can see the code that there is the script section this section will be written in the javascript program code for beautiful graphic the code explains that a new high charts object was formed to be rendered to the deep tag with the chart distance id in the html code then the x axis is defined as the time of reading the data and y axis is the value of the reading in which the distance in centimeter is displayed then the set interval function will send the data from the server every 3 seconds by accessing the distance in point provided by the server now it's time to create a web server that will be placed in the esp8266 web server real time chart dot ino file here i have included all the library files needed to run the web server on node mcu and similarly i have initiated the trig and eco pin for ultrasonic sensor at the beginning according to our circuit diagram then i also assigned the variable that contains the ssid password of the network and then finally i have started to build an asynchronous server on port number 80 then i have created a get distance function that will return a string that is the result of the reading from the ultrasonic sensor in the setup function i have specified the serial monitor to run at the speed of 115200 baud rate then make a spi ffs connection and start the connection based on ssid and password that have been previously defined after that i have determined the route served by the server in this project i have determined that there would be only two routes namely route and the distance the root route will return the index.html page when accessed while the root distance will call the get distance function which will return the scsr of a sensor readings then the server gets started in the void loop no code will be executed because the server will be running on asynchronously so there is no need to execute the loop section now you need to upload the html file to ESP8266 file system. So go to the tools ESP8266 data sketch upload and wait for the files to be uploaded. Then upload the code to your Node MCU board. Make sure you have selected the right board and the COM port. Also make sure you have inserted your Wi-Fi credential in the code. After successful upload, open the serial monitor at the baud rate of 11.5.2.0 and, the, and then press the reset button on the ESP8266 board. Now it should print its IP address. After you get IP address on the serial monitor, open your favorite browser and type the ESP8266 IP address. Now you should see the chart. A new data point is added every 3 seconds to the total point of 40 points. As long as your browser tab is open, the data is continuously displayed on the chart. So here is the example of distance chart. You can select the each point to see the exact time stamp. So in this tutorial, we have shown you how to create ESP8266 plot sensor reading to web server in real time chart. Now you can modify this project and add any other sensor to read the data in the charts. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you need any type of help related to this project, then do let me know in the comment section below. Oh, 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 oh,